This is not ideal, it's crowded. <laughs> but it's whatever. All right, what is it on? Who cares, just a cookie. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Strider. Guys, today is put up some of the Christmas things. Let's go take a look. It's just a little, just a little as we go. This is just what we have in the attic and I gotta work on the lights because there's missing, missing things. So I need to be just an easy dinner night, but I don't want to order out and I want it to be delicious. So I found a new person to follow for recipes. She's the cookie rookie, Becky Harden. I've gotten so many lately off of this. I haven't tried one yet, but here we go. This is the first one. Baked ham and cheese mozzarella sticks made out of egg roll wrappers. Yes, please. And as an accoutrement, I got. These are the best onion rings. <laughs> We're obviously not on our diet. We are enjoying the holidays and all the food that comes with it. I also got some traditional marinara to go with it, just to see. Let's do this. All right, let me go grab everything. Oh, look at how easy this is. Just some ultra thin honey ham, some string cheese, and some egg roll skins. And some olive oil and garlic salt, and this is extra stuff. This is extra, dipping sauce of your choice. I did good, that's my choice. Let's preheat the oven to 350. Fairly simple, right? Should be fairly simple. My mother used to make these egg rolls so good and then she would freeze them and we had a fry daddy and in the summers when she was off working we would heat them up in the fry daddy we were like 12 doing a fry daddy on our own probably not the smartest idea ever because we were a little reckless <laughs> not on purpose reckless it just everything was chaotic as always did i cut some of this oh yes yes this is the consistency I remember it to be. Is it like a tortilla? Did you know you have to do this to your tortillas so they don't like stick to each other? When you first get tortillas out of a bag, do this to it and then the, they won't stick to each other. We're gonna take one egg roll. Did my thing work? It did, yay! Diagonal side, diagonal, diagonally. A slice of thin ham in the middle. Just one though? It's super thin, hey? Somewhat middle. Okay, one mozzarella stick. I'm not even going to a tip to try to peel that off. Hands are already sticky. I do this ahead of time. Oh, there goes one. One, like that, like that. Fold in the sides of the wrapper into the cheese. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna follow my gut and it's to make that match. And then we're gonna fold it like wrapping paper because that's what my gut says to do. And then we're gonna keep folding and keep folding and keep folding. And then you have an egg roll. And if you had a piece of egg, you would just put the egg wash there to hold it. But it does say ooh, to brush each stick lightly and sprinkle with garlic salt. Okay, hold on. Do I want garlic salt or do I want like garlic powder with parsley? This is our lined sheet. Please tell me these are delicious. That's so easy. All right, let me make like eight more. Was easy, right? Gosh, I hope they're good. I hope they're good. I hope they're good. <laughs> These go in 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. Ours runs whatever. It's just, we're just gonna go 15 minutes. I'm gonna check them a little bit early because it says to do that and see if we need to broil them or flip them or something. Or possibly put them in the air fryer to make them crispier. Who knows? I've never done this before. And since I don't do the dishes, I'm going to heat it up in this. <laughs> Yay! Set it, forget it on low. Set it, forget it. Woo! Oh no, I forgot to sprinkle. Ah, make out buddies. How did I remember to sprinkle? You know what? I opened that and it smelled like it needed spices. And in my brain I thought, huh, something else in here needs spices. <laughs> Decided against the garlic salt. I'm gonna do the garlic powder because I don't think I've ever used that garlic salt. And I've done a lot of recipes. I also have never wrapped anything other than an egg roll in an egg roll wrapper, but whatever. 15 minutes. Please be good. Okay, we went on the hotter side of our oven and that's not feeling like an egg roll. Put it a little bit longer and then um, honestly, I'm gonna go pop them in that. I let them go for a couple minutes more and then I went and turned them upside down just cause it felt right. These are a little too not fried for me. They're still a little wobbly. So we're gonna just toast them up in there. This is not ideal, it's crowded. <laughs> Whatever. All right, what is it on? Who cares, just a cookie. While those do whatever it is they're gonna do, I am going to try to make this over without getting any done. They're gonna, uh, we're good. 
gonna need that much. I wanna save some for if they're good, you know? Well, that just made a mess. Okay, just a little bit more for me. And a little bit more for him. And then that looks good so far. Those are crispy, we're good. Let's go take a look. <laughs> so hungry. That's way better. Yo, that's way better. So I'm not a thousand percent comfortable with my air fryer. I haven't actually air fried stuff like chicken. I've just done basically fries and corn or whatever else you've seen me do. But. Had I been more comfortable, I would have just cooked it in that, yeah? It seems like the better move here. Yes, that looks edible. I got this little piece hot. <laughs> no to the garlic powder. Go back to the garlic salt, it's too much. But it might be less. Oh, that's noticeably there, do I? It might be less once we dip it in marinara, but. So far, so good. I put it back in because the other sides were soggy on the bottom. <laughs> wow, that's cook. It's time to try. Please be good, please be good, please be good. That was really easy. Okay, dippy dippy. Hot. I'm really hot. We gotta wait a little bit. But I'm really hungry. Huh. Ah. Ah. Did I get ham? No. Oh. It was so easy to make. I'll figure out the other part. If you have any clue, just let me know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.